Here you go. Where's the water bone back? <laughs> oh, she got thirsty. Good morning. Here you go. They love when uh, Raylan comes to the chicken kitchen. They said, we're just trying to eat. <laughs> All right, Ray Ray, leave him alone. Oh, got her, got Becky. Yeah. I got this one. <laughs> you hold him good. Hey y'all, Cyrus Homestead here. Welcome back to our channel, or if you're new, welcome to it. So we are out today. Um, we're doing some hardening off of our plant starts that we have and being with the animals, working on some fencing, um, doing all kinds of projects. So I just wanted to talk for a minute about hardening off. And um, we do have a cattle panel greenhouse, so that's really where most of our hardening off happens. We ventilate it every day. We open the windows and the doors and we do have a fan in there. So there's constantly airflow going through. And then once it gets closer to time to get everything in the ground, we start bringing everything out and just letting them enjoy the sun and the natural wind and letting them kind of rest there so they can harden off and be healthy when we put them in the ground. So we've got all our tomatoes and cucumbers and squash, zucchini, um, everything but mostly tomatoes uh, there's a lot of tomatoes beets um, everything that we have growing is pretty much out except for the herbs because they're fine in the greenhouse so uh, we just want to talk about that for a second if you all ever have any hardening off questions ask us um, we've been doing it for about five years now so it's become a routine and at first we were not good with it um, pretty much everything that we had would die because we were not good at hardening off the plants but we have gotten pretty good at it. So um, I know a lot of people are confused about that and not sure what the process is. So just wanted to share that and let y'all know. There's Raylan. One important thing to remember is if they do start showing stress when you're going through the hardening off process to um, put them back in, you only want to do it for a few hours a day, starting very small at the beginning and then increasing time every day so that they can have more and more sunlight and air. But if they do so stress or start to wilt or get sunburnt, then it's important to put them back where they're safe. Ray Ray, what are you doing? There are watermelons. Why, why is there watermelons here? They're onions. Yeah, they are watermelons. See? see? A little onion. Yep. An onion. Oh, the onions can go in my garden. Yep. They're in our home. They are at the garden. Yeah. They're in our home. They're at the garden. fence complete and so what we did to test out our durability is we let rusty loose inside um, anytime we let him loose he just goes running down the hill towards the road but thankfully he always goes to my mom's house so this is gonna serve dual purpose but we're testing it out to see how well he does yeah. and so far really he's still in the backyard yep. what? Whew. what do you think babe it's great holy moly fencing Want to do it for a living? <laughs> no, I hate it. <laughs> oh, we never have to do it again. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how happy he can be loose. He's never actually been able to be loose mm -mm. in the yard. No, he can't. And I think when he was, when we first brought him home, we tried it. 
Yeah, I did a few times, kind of playing fetch with yeah. him, trying to get him used to it. But then he started hitting the woods and running away, so he's enjoying it, but hopefully mm -hmm. he doesn't ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure eventually he might try to find a spot, but uh, he's so young and he's just got full of energy. He uh, doesn't think very long. <laughs> so I think we're going to be okay. I'm happy. Yeah. Holy moly. This was, happy. A, happy this was a project. Happy it's done. <laughs> yep. Now we ain't got to worry about deer and rabbits getting into our yep. garden. And we ain't got to worry about Rusty getting out. It's nice. Yes, it is. It's nice. We didn't get a, I don't know, if, I don't think we got a whole lot of footage of us actually working. Both of us are very hands on. We got a lot of battle wounds to get through on this. But let's kind of, I'm going to walk through it and stuff and show. Okay, so we kind of showed this yesterday or two days ago. Um, the fence or the gate. So we did two different gates, one here and then one over there. Um, just to kind of get in the more back area, but first thing, first and foremost, how do you say that? Um, this fence is not tight, tight. It is not what you would use to hold cattle in. It's not what you'd use to hold pigs in. I'm well aware of that. However, for a backyard purposes that we're doing, it's gonna be just fine. Um, but this gate's really cool. Um, I just use chicken wire. It's kind of like a barn door kind of look. Um, got a lock here. It's on the outside. You want to open it? Maybe. No, oh, it helps if I go the right way. But nice and simple. I'm not going to let Rusty out. Thought about it. Thought about it? It's a love hate relationship with Rusty. <laughs> He's a sweet old dog, but man. He's not old, he's young. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even mean to say old. Oh, <laughs> Rusty's been a handful in his uh, two years with us. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we got, Jen showed you the plants hardening off, which they already are. Uh, we just set them out to get some fresh air. Honestly, it probably was nicer today outside than it was in the greenhouse because it got so hot, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So the tilled garden, I was hoping I would get to back to this again tonight, but I just didn't have him. But yeah. you can see the fence runs right along the back. Oh, we didn't show this yesterday. Oh yeah. The 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 Sasquatch. Yeah. So we showed you. I keep saying yesterday. Two days ago. Um, we showed you all the bears well, over the fire pit, but we didn't show you our Sasquatch. <laughs> so Larry also makes those. It's really cool. We love it. I'll never forget when we was living in the camper. The very first day, uh, well, actually, we weren't here. No, we went to town for something. Yeah, and we got back, and the camper was right in front of the greenhouse, like behind it. Um, we were just sitting there, and I got scared to death. I was like, what is that? He had came over and put that Sasquatch up in our woods and didn't let us know. It scared me to death. Holy cow. Yeah, so that's really cool. We're glad to have him back, too. The Sasquatch. So just keep running along the fence. I just finished that gate today. And so it goes around the corner, across all the raised beds, behind all the toys. And then y'all, we were about 10 foot short. 10 foot short of wire. And I wanted to be done with this thing today. So, we went DIY pallet, didn't we, babe? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you wait till we needed a third door anyways. That's yep. where our water is back on that side. So put a T-post up. I'm going to have to put a four by four up right there. And uh, I'll put it on hinges. But for now, I just screwed it in and we got a pallet door. So more DIY pallet action up here in the <laughs> Stivers homestead. So this is a homestead fence. Um, we bought the first two rolls ourselves and then we quickly realized that that was not enough yeah we got 200 foot rows yeah so then um my mother-in-law which is his mom they went out of state to get a toy hauler for their side by side and the guy was moving and he had two big rolls of the same fencing and he said that they could just have it for us because they didn't want to take it with them so we lucked out on that and uh, we bought all the t-posts Yep. And the chicken wire we had laying around, so 50% of it was bought, the other 50 was stuff that we just had laying around and yeah. got from others. Yeah, it was definitely much cheaper than probably any fence you see in anybody else's backyard, but I almost bet you it's halfway more durable. 
Um, yeah, so I, I think ultimately what I assume we have in here, maybe 500 bucks and the whole fencing, which is covering about 400 square foot, if not more. So uh, the fencing, what we bought was the 48 inch high chicken, not chicken wire. Goat fence. It's, I don't, is it goat fence? Yeah. All right, so it might be goat fence. It's the really small squares, the one by two squares. Um, it's a dollar a foot. It's just the welded wire, not the bent over real nice, strong, durable one. Um, but that cost about a dollar a foot. Um, and then the T-posts were about, they were six foot tall. They were $3 a post. And then the stuff we got free was actually that real strong uh, bent over, I don't, I don't know the specific term they call it, but it was, it's not welded, the, the tougher um, wire that they have. But it was also the one by two square, so that worked out well, because rabbits. Um, but it's six foot tall, so you'll see in some spots it's a little higher than our T-post, because I bought for four foot height. Um, but when you're getting free stuff, you know, you gotta be willing to, to wiggle a little and uh, really work for it. But uh, yeah, so that was free. That would've cost us probably another two to $300 if we had to buy the rest of the wire. And all the four by four posts um, were free. Um, my stepdad's work was just gonna throw them away and he's like, ooh, we all know how much four by four posts cost. So he, he snagged them, it was great. I've, I think I finally used them off. Hey, Ray Ray. Um, but yeah, so that's how you do it. Be patient, find some free stuff, just kind of look out everywhere, ask. That's one of your biggest things, just ask it. Nobody knows you want to build a fence, so if you do, <laughs> ask around for four by four posts and T posts and all that different stuff. And you never know what you might find, but I'm tired. Yeah. Yeah, this was this was one of those hard ones. Yeah, I, I, a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> I really like day jobs. One day, done, start and end. Uh, but this one took a, a few weeks uh, on and off. But I think that's all I got. What you got? Ray Ray, you want to say bye or anything? Um, bye. 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 I don't even know what she's saying. Hi, right, y'all. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.